stop. These are written all over it. <laughs> Whether you are an animal lover or not, our next story <laughs> highlights the incredible connection between humans and their pets. Watch as Stella the dog learns to speak, 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 speak. 29 yeah. different words and even a few complete sentences with her owner. Take a look. It's okay. You hear something outside, but we're going to stay inside. Inside. We're joined now by Christina Hunger, a speech pathologist in San Diego, owner of the very clever Stella, whom you saw there. Uh, so, Christina, what does Stella say the most? Let's start with that. She definitely says outside the most. She absolutely loves being outside. Uh, talk us through, Christina, how, how you noticed or how you developed the language with Stella, because I know often with children is a question of repetition, is it not? So is it similar when it comes to Stella? Absolutely. As a speech language pathologist, I honestly did the same thing that I do to help children learn to communicate. Lots of time, lots of practice, and lots of repetition. Um, I noticed how she was already communicating with her vocalizations and her gestures and I added words to it and gave her the opportunity to practice. Now, I noticed on your blog, on your website, you have a log of all the words that she says. There are a lot of actions like outside, eat, play, etc., but there are also sometimes emotions and feelings. Uh, I want us to take a quick look at this. Okay. Hey, love you. I love you too, Stella. So, Christina, what can you tell us about Stella's feelings and emotions? It's really cool to hear Stella communicate when she's happy or when she's mad. She even tells us love you when she is being affectionate with her. Um, to teach her those words, happy and mad, I just noticed when she was really excited and happy and kept modeling the words on her button, or the buttons and verbally saying happy, happy, or if she was upset. Um, you know, vocalizing, whining, not getting what she wanted, I would push the button and say verbally mad and tell her Stella mad. And that helped her learn how to say happy and how to say mad. Um, how many words can she say? Can she have a phrase, for example? I noticed in your blog a couple of one, two words, mm. or three words kind of put together. Do you think eventually, Christina, she'll be able to communicate with you? Yeah, she's already communicating really effectively. She combines up to five words in a row. Uh, most commonly, she combines three and four words to communicate. Um, I'm really excited to see in the next couple of years what communication skills she's able to do. This has only been a little over a year and a half. Isa's youngest son currently is one. One, he my says sharing that. he's one and four months. He has three words, mama, papa, and Peppa Pig. So wow. Stella, oh. <laughs> no, no offense and no insult intended here, but Stella currently ha speaks better than a one-year-old, yes. correct? <laughs> I'm not crazy. offended at all. I just, I, I, just, I just think I might have to use this board for my child. <laughs> one of the videos that really blew my mind was Stella panics when she presses a button and it doesn't work. So her form of communication mm -hmm. with you doesn't work. And I, I want to play the video just after she pressed that button and there was silence. It didn't work. Clever dog that, asking for help. That is nuts to me. So she, so she was panicking. She didn't like it that this new form of communication wasn't working. Yeah, she realized she pushed the button, nothing was happening, and she told me and asked for help to fix it. That's absolutely incredible to me. Christina, for any of our viewers right around the world watching in the, watching this and wanting to try this at home, I'm sure they'll be asking, can they do this by themselves or do they have to be a speech, a speech pathologist or can they do yeah. it with cats? How do you get, I mean, this is, yeah, why, yeah, not? why not? Uh, how do you, yeah. how can they get started? How could they do this? 
Um, first thing to do is talk to your pet that you want to be able to communicate with you. Um, notice how they're already communicating and start putting words to those um, gestures or vocalizations that they're using. And then when you hit the buttons and program them with those words, use them all the time and show your pet how to use them as well. Christina, can I ask to see Stella? I'm sure our viewers would yep. love to see her as well. Is she around? She is. Let's see if she'll come say hi. Come here, Stella. Say hello. Come here, girl. Stella, look. There's Stella. Stella, you're a clever dog. <laughs> what well is, done. What a superstar. Well, I appreciate you taking the time, Christina, to speak to us. Um, Christina Hunger there and Stella. Wishing you the best of luck. Thanks, Christina. What I love great, it. I what love a great it. Dog. And you, so she uses both paws, not just one. <laughs> I'm a bit obsessed with that. I think you and Stella had, oh, anyway, a, you had a connection. <laughs> you had a connection. What's this? <laughs> Does your dog have any special tricks or particularly flashes of brilliance? Send us a video on our Instagram page. This is us asking for some of your videos at your world CNN. And a public service announcement before we leave. <laughs> Somebody please remove the access to our Instagram account to our executive producer, Jason Morell, <laughs> who's enjoying himself here, too much Sarah with this. Sarah Chiplin, who, who created this beauty.